You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we're next going to be talking on the telephone to DC Jewel Angus, licensing officer. Firstly, thank you very much for talking to our listeners. Thank you very much for asking me. Well, I was hoping, firstly, you could tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, also a bit about what your team does. OK, I'm a licensing enforcement officer. I'm part of a team uh, who are based at Medway Police Station, but we cover the areas, uh, the pubs and clubs and late-night venues for eating uh, for Dartford, Gravesend, Medway and Swale. Um, we are an enforcement team, uh, but we're also there to try and help and support the, the venues that we have that have got a license. Um, so we work very closely with our partner agencies, so all the councils, uh, including environmental health, licensing officers, waste management. We also work with uh, UK Border Agency, um, and we try and make sure that the venues are run um, as they should be in accordance with, obviously, the licensing legislation. But we're here really to try and support them to make sure that their places are run as they should be uh, in line with what the conditions are on their license and try and assist them with making their venue a nice, safe place for members of the public to go to. Now, you've been running a campaign and uh, one of the areas that's taken place is in Swale. So I was hoping yeah. you could tell our listeners a little bit about that. Okay, it's a, a campaign that's run every year. It's run by the Association of Chief Police Officers and it looks at targeting um, issues surrounding uh, alcohol-related crime and disorder. So that includes not only things that happen in the street outside of uh, clubs and pubs, but also the drinking habits of people who then will may go home and uh, have caused domestic abuse and things like that. Uh, we also look at underage drinking and people that are drinking in public places, so open spaces, parkland, uh, where young kids go and uh, have got hold of alcohol um, and are then sitting there drinking and then become a public nuisance. Uh, so we usually run, the, the campaign runs usually in connection with Freshers Week at the universities. So we've got a lot of people that come and live in and around the area um, who are attending the local universities and sixth form colleges. And we want to make sure that they're aware of the, the safety issues in relation to alcohol-related crime um, and make sure that the, the pubs and clubs are checking people for underage drinking, that the off-licenses are not selling to underage drinkers um, and that people are safe when they go out. Um, so that like open spaces with young children, we don't want them drinking alcohol in there. They're not supposed to. We need to find out where it's come from and try and address that with the off-licence but more importantly, maybe address it with their parents so their parents are aware that their child is drinking and the possible harms that uh, are related to that. So what safety advice do you have for people going out drinking? Uh, I think the safety advice for most people is, you know, we want everybody to go out and have a really good time, enjoy the nighttime economy, but to be responsible uh, and to think about how much they're drinking. Um, Excessive drinking can cause them to become a victim of crime because it makes them very vulnerable, uh, but it can also make some people who've drunk too much quite aggressive, which means that they become an offender. Um, and obviously we don't want people in custody because they've gone out to have a good time and have drunk too much and has then resulted in them having an argument and uh, assaulting somebody or causing damage. This also then means that whoever was assaulted or whose property was damaged is now a victim of crime, uh, whereas if maybe... Uh, they'd thought about what they were doing then you know uh, this situation would have arisen um, obviously people going out if they have too much to drink sometimes they can't get a taxi uh, and feel that they're just going to walk home uh, that puts them in danger as well if they've had too much to drink from either being a victim of crime themselves or uh, an accident you know stepping into the road in front of traffic that they didn't realize was there because you know then they're, they're not quite as coherent as they normally would be so, yes, it's about their own personal safety. Was there anything else you'd like to cover or any useful contact details or information you could give to our listeners? I mean, all I would say is that, you know, if listeners have got concerns with any licensed premises, so, I mean, we're looking at pubs, nightclubs, off-licenses. Uh, we also cover things like look at events that are going on where alcohol is sold. So Faversham Hot Festival is, is obviously quite a big one. Um, she and S have a festival as well. Um, please contact us for advice and support or contact their local licensing officer. Um, 
the local licensing officers are all at the council buildings and obviously myself and my colleagues are here at Medway Police Station. Um, we have a very long email address uh, that anybody can obviously email into us, um, which I will give you, uh, which is licensing.north.division at Kent dot pnn dot police dot uk or you can obviously ring into our main office uh, which is 01634 792733 and we're more than happy to take people's inquiries or concerns about anything you know we rely on the public to tell us uh, if they feel something's not right about a venue uh, whether they think there's something at a, a club or a, a pub that's not right or they have concerns about local youth seen drinking in particular areas and they think that there may be the off-license is selling to underage children. Uh, we'd be very keen to be told about those things because then we can work with our colleagues in trading standards and, and try and address those issues for people. Well, Jude, I'd like to thank you very much for telling our listeners all about what you do at the licensing uh, team and also a little bit about that campaign that's been running as well. well thank you. It's my pleasure.